Hello, this is David from goldstartool.com and uh, I have an opportunity to uh, share with you a new video. Uh, DNU1541S made by Juki, made in Japan. Uh, so this machine is a, a walking food machine. Uh, heavy duty walking food machine. Uh, with table and legs. Now, if you look at the legs here, uh, these are T-legs with wheels that we have uh, made for a special customer. Also here, you have the needle positioning system set up. Uh, I don't know if I ever did a uh, uh, video on DN, uh, DNU 1541, but I thought I'm gonna do a video and since a lot of people do heavy stuff, I was gonna go ahead and show you guys a folder that we're gonna use on this machine. So it's a downturn or upturn uh, folder. So this is really heavy and walking food with, um, we did here like four layers. Now, last week or two weeks ago, we did a 1541 tape measure. Now we're doing 1541S. 1541S only a clutch. A clutch that makes the machine, whenever it makes the machine is going too fast and you have heavy stuff underneath uh, the machine will stop and you have this clutch here that you will release and uh, help the machine doesn't go to lockdown now the machine it comes including table i've done this before i'm going to do it again i'm going to give you all the measurement 48 by 20 uh the table again this is t-leg this is a T-leg with wheels that is going to a customer and you have put a needle positioning on. The, the bed is 18 and a half inch from, uh, from the needle bar to the neck is 10 inch, height is four inch. The machine comes including table, legs, thread stand, LED lamp, number two oil, some oiler, parts, needles, I mean, these are neither ordered by the customer, but, uh, and some owner's manual. Now, I'm sure you know how this machine works. I, I'm not gonna go through the machine. I'm gonna show you what it does. But today, I'm gonna show you two folders that you could use to make a very easy fold. They call, instead of going and using your hand to fold the fabric, I have a the two folders, one called L75U. L75U is for U is for under, down, up turn. And you have L75, if you could see D, for down turn. So I'm using the down turn. What the down turn means that the folder is turning it down. When I'm going, my face of the fabric is up, down turn is like this. If I want to use the upturn, it would be the other way. Now, I know with this machine, a lot of people have problem finding a folder, bias folder, hemming folder. Uh, but I, while I do the video and I show you the machine, I like to use this folder so you see what this machine could do here. See, if you look at this, this is upturn. Look at here, meaning the fabric goes in here and turns up. The other one, the fabric goes here and turns down. Okay? Now, a regular thumb screw. First of all, let, let me try the machine before we go on. So, the machine is already set up for needle positioning up, right? I have, this is four layers of, uh, um, four layers of denim jeans. Now, I've showed, I've showed you before, this is a dry head, meaning there is no oil panel, and I'm gonna show you, no oil panel inside, and I have to lock the, the wheel because they keep moving. Okay, you could lock the wheel. See, there is no oil panel. Everything, all the oil that we give you goes in here. Also, you have the bobbin winder right here, automatic bobbin winder. 
Now, I'm gonna put this back in. This is the knee lifter. Okay, let me raise this up. See how much this goes up? Half an inch. Half an inch almost. Okay, so see that I'm doing four layers and I still have room to do more if I wanted to. So this four layers and I'm gonna make it eight. This is called compound. If you use leather, you could use this for leather, for hides, for very, very he heavy canvas, for awning. This is the way you do it. This is the machine. Now I'm gonna do four and four, eight plus four, 12 layers. No problem. The, the needle is equipped with size 23 needle, 135 by 17 needle is for this machine, 135 by 17. Very good. Now, since I have the needle positioning, I just put my feet on the pedal and bam, the thread comes up. Okay, so let's say if I'm down, I could go and it comes back up. See, okay, now, if a lot of people want to use a folder to hem, fold your corners of the fabric and you have to use your hand. As I, we have this called S75U. S75U is upturn, S75D is downturn, is on our website. I'm using a regular thumb screw from home machine, from industrial machine. By the way, the bobbin on this machine is M bobbin. It's a huge uh, M bobbin and uh, the thread you could use up to 190. There are a lot of information you could read on our website. These two holes right here are made to use this screw on them. So I'm gonna, you could adjust, see? Left and right, and this two screw up and down. So I'm gonna make it all the way to the end because I want you guys to see what I'm doing, all right? So I'm gonna make this on a tiny, make this a stitching guide to maybe size four. And then this is, by the way, this is reverse. I'm gonna tie this, try to use this uh -huh, flat. We have a new camera person that is doing me a favor. All right, so. Let's see, we wanna go ahead and fold this, right? This is downturn, meaning it's gonna be like this. Now, it could, this could be anything. Could be leather, could be canvas, could be any heavy stuff, and it could be double layers. But I'm gonna just, I'm another sewer. Before you go in, you just fold it, and you push it in. And then raise the, I'm gonna make sure I'm doing it right. So fold. Go in now, this this comes many different sizes, this. Um, the folders come many different sizes from, if you go to our website, you see all the sizes. You can just put it down and then you just fold this. You don't have to do anything else. So this one is three quarter. Meaning the fold would be three quarter. Now I, we have other side list to just go down, see, and just keep this folder like the way I do it. I'm not doing anything else. And you could go as fast as you want. Now I'm gonna adjust the speed if I want to high. We don't need to show the motor, they have seen it. This is the back, this is the front on a stitch number four. To see it there, I'm gonna put it on size six. Okay, and I'm gonna go fast. You 
you don't need to do anything. This thing will fold at three quarter inch for you. Right here. Is more than three quarter, but uh, the fold is, this is three quarter. Folding it and the stitching that you see here by adjusting this, if I want the stitch to be closer to the edge, I could just adjust this, move it forward or backward all the way to adjust. So this is something called S75D, downturn. And now I'm gonna try the U, upturn for you guys. Just open this up. You could do it from this way, so right. Open this too. I'm gonna take this down, put it back in here. Uh, okay, so this is 5 8 upturn. Put this down here, close that down. Again, I know a lot of people are gonna call me. S75U or S75D, upturn, downturn, and our website, goldstartool.com. Any flat, sewing machine that you have, single needle or walking foot, that they have a flat bed like this one, you could use these items on them. As long as you have these two screws that you could screw this down, or a lot of people use this with the tape. Okay, now, so this was downturn, and this one I'm gonna do upturn. Just take it and fold it, right? Let it go, and I'm gonna push this a little bit down. Here you go, and here we go. I'm gonna go fast, and I want you guys to see it. Let's do it this way from here, so they could see what I'm doing. Close up. Oh, I broke the thread. Maybe I'm out of bombing. Let me check. Meanwhile, we'll add it. I'm gonna show you what type of uh, good I have my glasses with me. Now, whenever you want to go ahead and change, uh, move the thread around, you don't want to go ahead and just pull the thread. You have to use your knee lifter because when you use the knee lifter, it releases all the tension. You see? I'm doing this and you see this tension and it let all the um, um, the thread to go through. See now, even if it's extra, it folds it the way, meaning that I just let it go, right? It, I'm gonna do it slow so you see. And I'm gonna do it fast. Now, this is good here because this is double layer. I already have done this part. We're gonna see if it's gonna do. Here you go. So this part, the last part, I have already done once. So you see that it even goes through four, uh, three layers of fabric. So really this one, 
it has to be wide open if you want to use really heavy stuff, right? But you see, very easy. The people that call in and they say, hey, we want to do fold, hemming, and we need a tool, S75U or S75D is the one you could use. And any type of sewing machine, as long as it's a flatbed or it has this screw. If you don't have a screw here, a screw holes, it's very easy to use, I tell people, use uh, the masking tape. Get heavy duty masking tape, put them down, or use magnetic if you don't have these two holes. A great machine uh, made by uh, GT Corporation, DNU1541S. S is for uh, the clutch that is inside, that it operates from here. Um, Thank you for watching, David from goldstartool.com. Like, thumbs up, and have a golden day.